Black Salad McIver is a boutique design studio. We position ourselves as a studio because we aren't trying to pigeonhole ourselves like in this position of being an agency. We are a small team. You are going to talk to the owners. So the studio kind of opens us up to do like personal artwork, um, artwork for ourselves, and then also provide that same type of artwork to like clients and stuff like that. We started a company about four years ago when I met Peter Laxalt. There's a website called Behance.net. It's basically a portfolio site. It's like a dating site for designers, pretty much. Matt ended up contacting me on Behance to get a cup of coffee, and I didn't really think much of it. And it was also the first time I met another designer in Reno. We met at Coffee Bar and started our company over a cup of coffee. It wouldn't be a bad idea if we just teamed up and did something together, and we kind of laughed like, <laughs> No way, that would never happen. And um, then we kind of laughed and then looked up at each other and laughed and looked up at each other. And um, it was, I think it was four days later, we got a business license together. And after uh, many years of hard work and sleepless nights and just blood, sweat, and tears, we're here four years later, so. It started off with just the two of us and we've never really like kind of had the plans or like ideology to scale and grow like this big agency. We've always really liked the idea of having a studio and, and doing like a unique kind of boutique experience for our clients. Trying to develop a, a national level company rather than just a local level company of what we started. But we did have to start somewhere. And then at like five years later, I mean, we I think we've touched almost every continent and our design lives in all of them, which is like pretty crazy. At the end of the day, I'd say like our common thread is we're all very cultured, but also very laid back in that sense. So we really take like a, a really relaxed approach to our interactions with our clients, with each other, and also our work. But we're very, you know, we're not too relaxed, but we're really a calculated and approached and very passionate about what we do. So that passion really carries through through each of us as individuals. Our culture is very flexible, very supportive. It's nice that the two people who started and run the company are very concerned about what we enjoy, so we make sure that we're getting clients and getting work for things that kind of like feed our soul and stuff. So it's nice to have that concern there. And I feel like it's just different from anywhere in town for sure. If like l didn't exist, I would probably move honestly, just doing what we can do here. A lot of like freedom, and I feel like that's that's something that you don't really get at in any job, honestly. Peter and Matt have such passion for what they do that it really drives and inspires the team every day. There's definitely a standard for how to do certain designs or projects, and I think that they always push that standard. I mean, it's in our motto, essentially, an antidote to the ordinary, and we really stand by that and try to practice that in every everything that we do. I think in the beginning we had no expectations of really anything, so I think it's been kind of like we just roll with it. It's not Laxalt and McIver anymore. It's Laxalt, McIver, Sousa, Cow, Garrick, all of that. And I think it's just super amazing that like we've been able to make a family that's so tight-knit that we have. I mean, at the end of the day, I think it's it really teaches you a lot about just like roll with the punches or get knocked out. That's it. <laughs> Thank you.